What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a server for free using Google Cloud. I'm going to start by explaining the situations you'll need a server and from there I'm going to jump right into our setup. So the first situation you're going to need a server is to run a bot off the server. And this could be if your computer isn't strong enough to run a bot or if you need just a little bit more computing power. Uh, you could also need a server for a sneaker bot if you try and run multiple instances of the same bot because most bots only allow for one instance per machine. Another situation you'd need a server is if you'd like to farm Gmails or other resource intensive tasks on AYCD or Essentials. Uh, you could do this 24 7 even with your computer being turned off but just by using the server. So now on to how to set up a server. I'll have all the links in the description for you guys so check down there if you guys need any help. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is log into our Google Cloud account. So we're going to open our Google Chrome. Type in Google Cloud. And we're going to navigate to this first website. And from here, we're going to click onto console. And then we're going to hit the three lines in the top left down to compute engine and then to VM instances. Next, we're going to click on create. So now we're going to create our first VM instance. So for this, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this one test. Uh, for the region, I would put it wherever your proxies are located or whatever sneaker website you're trying to bot. So I'm just going to put this in South Carolina. And then this doesn't matter, you can select whatever. And for machine configuration, you're going to go to whatever suits you best. So I'm just going to select a 8 core CPU with 32 gigabytes of memory. Uh, now we're going to go down to our boot disk. Uh, we're going to want to change this to operating system windows and then we're going to choose windows server 2019 select i'm going to scroll down to this little part right here and we're going to allow these two and we're going to press create that's going to take a minute uh loading up so you're just going to be patient all right so now that our windows server is set up we're going to click this drop down menu here and set our windows password so you can name this whatever i'm going to name it test one two three I'm going to press set. And you want to copy this password so you have it ready. I'm just going to paste it in this next tab over. Press close. And then after this, we're going to want to locate our remote desktop connection. I'm just going to slide this remote desktop connection over here. We're going to copy our external IP and paste it. And then after that, we're going to sh click show options and we're going to put that same username we just made. Connect. And it's going to prompt us for that password we just saved. So we're going to copy that and paste it in. And you're just going to click yes to this. And now we have loaded up our server. And the name here should be the same name that you set up as your username. All right, so once your server loads up, you'll be prompted with server manager. So we're going to come down here to add roles and features. And then we're going to click through all this next stuff until we get down to features. And so for features, we're going to click on net framework 3.5 and then click install. And this install takes a little bit of time, so make sure to be patient with it. All right, so now that our install is complete, we can go ahead and close this out. And the next thing we're going to do is go to local server, click on IE enhanced security configurations and turn both of these off and then select OK. So now we're going to exit this out and go to Internet Explorer. And we're going to download Google Chrome. And this Chrome install should be relatively quick. Go ahead and minimize this. And the reason we need to install Chrome is some of the bots need Chrome to run. I know TSB, for example, is going to need Chrome because it opens its task as Chromium. So we're also going to need to set our default browser. So now that we have Chrome installed, we're going to set our default browser as Chrome. So down here, and we're going to set it as Google Chrome. 
And that is how you set up a server for a bot on Google Cloud for free. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments or you guys can DM me on Instagram. All right, you guys have a great day.